Welcome to another episode of Soul Align Success. And today I'm gonna to share with you my SOS formula to create freedom in your spiritual business. Hey there, so today I'm going to share with you my simple SOS formula to create freedom in your business, which I'm guessing is part of the reason you went into entrepreneurship to begin with. So what I often see though happening in the industry is spiritual entrepreneurs will set up their business in a way that pretty much just creates another glorified self-employee position for themselves. So basically if they're not showing up every day doing all of the work, um, nothing happens in their business and then they end up being burned out and overwhelmed and what happens is their spiritual business starts to feel very much like the nine to five grind or corporate position that was draining them that they left to begin with to embark on an entrepreneurial journey in order to have more freedom so it's really key that you set this up the way I'm about to share with you from the get-go so that you can enjoy a life of freedom and flexibility on the back end of your business. So you have to ask yourself, is stuff being done behind the scenes without you right now? If it's not, and everything falls on your shoulders, you are not set up to expand and grow. And this is something that you're gonna want to, um, you know, change and shift sooner than later. Otherwise you're gonna be capping your impact, capping your income, capping your freedom and your flexibility and your fun. And if your business is not fun, you're not gonna show up energetically as your highest and best self for, your, for others because you're not showing up as your highest and best self for you. So in order to not let your business feel like a drain and feel like the nine to five grind you already escaped from for most of you watching this not everybody had a nine to five prior to this i know my journey i've always been an entrepreneur i really have never really worked for anybody else maybe in college um but and that's because i like freedom i like flexibility i like i like making my own rules i like designing my life based on my interests, based on what I wanna do, when I wanna do it, and how I want it to look. And that's been sort of ingrained in me. That's just like in my DNA. So so some of these things I've been share, these things that I share with you, I've been doing long before my spiritual business was a thing. This is something that I've implemented in all of my businesses, which have been service oriented business, um, brick and mortar businesses, and other online businesses, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna share with you as part of my SOS formula is systematize. So what does systematize mean? Systematize means that if you do anything more than once, there needs to be a system for it, okay? And these sort of all relate to each other. They're, they're gonna roll in, they sort of expand on each other, but we're gonna start with system, systemizing, right? You wanna create a system, you want anything that can be duplicated to be documented and or recorded so that way everything can be eventually outsourced which leads me to the second part of my formula my sos formula which is outsourcing but let's get back to systematizing really quick anything that can be duplicated and anything that can be um like anything that's going to be duplicated like something that you do on a regular basis like let's say your you know, you're reviewing applications for your podcast and then you're scheduling them or sending out a link for them to schedule and then they're booking and then you're creating graphics and then, you know, all of this happens behind the scenes after you book a guest for your podcast, for example. And this is something that you do over and over and over again. This is something that can be systematized. This is something that you need to build a system around. Um, so it is trainable and teachable for someone else to do other than you because your gift is showing up and creating content and actually doing the interview for your podcast, but it's not exactly your best use of time to be doing all of the admin and all of the emailing and all of the graphics and all of the things behind the scenes 
that have nothing to do with your unique gift and talent and wisdom, right? Because you're going to shine and operate at your highest and best capacity in your business when you are solely focused on what it is that is your genius that you are really gifted at. And for those of you watching, that is doing the healing with people, holding the sacred space, coaching, and the things that nobody else can do. So other things that somebody else can do that's an expert at that, like maybe admin and graphic design and things like that, all need to have a system in place so it can happen very, very quickly, easily, and seamlessly. So then you can take it to level two, which is outsourcing. And so outsourcing is where you're going to want to hire VAs to support your business. It has not been easier than, than it is right now to get the support that you need for your business very affordably. My first business out, out of college was creating a virtual, I created a, a multi-virtual assistant company where I immediately um, started as a virtual assistant online long before virtual assistant was a thing. And then as soon as I started to get clients, I, which started happening, I, I was managing real estate agents all over the country. Um, I immediately hired other VAs. I outsourced the work to other VAs. So they were doing the work and managing all of the agents business. And I was simply signing new clients, right? So I immediately outsourced everything that I did not have to do. So I could focus on what my genius was, which was sales and landing new clients, the income generated tasks. And um, so that's step two. Now, after you have that in place, and even before when it comes to creating your programs, you wanna set your business up so it's scalable. So if you really want truly freedom and flexibility in your business, unless you're charging high ticket one-on-one -on -one coaching, you're gonna to wanna to set up a scalable program. In fact, I feel this is a really good way for you to reach the masses and make a massive impact on the front end of your business while also completely leveraging your time and scaling on the back end of your business so you have more time and freedom and flexibility. So what does that mean? It means possibly considering that you don't have to work with everybody on a one-on-one -on -one basis anymore, that there is a way to package your unique gift and talent in a way that allows you to offer your services to the masses, to many people, to exponentially more people than you really could on your during doing one-on-one, -on -one, while at the back of your business actually working less hours and making more money. So this is when you want to set your business up for scaling, so that way the more people that sign up with you, you do not end up depleted. So it should not be happening on a one-to-one -one ratio, meaning one client signs up and that takes like an hour of your time and another client signs up and it's like another hour of your time. It should not be on a one-to-one -one ratio or like on a one-to-four ratio, like one client signs up and it takes four hours of your time and every single time a client signs up it takes X amount of time if that's happening in your business then you can see very quickly how you're going to cap out your income and your time and your energy and you're not going to be able to expand above that so you're just going to be hitting your head on a ceiling and it's going to be very frustrating and overwhelming and cause a lot of burnout so there is a way to structure your business so you could offer programs that are more scalable that allow you to offer services to exponentially more people Otherwise, the result is that what you have is if you're solely doing one-on-one, -on -one, and again, you wanna be able to hit your income goals at the, at, during this as well, so if you can't hit your income goals doing one-on-one, -on -one, um, then at the end of the day, it's not in alignment for you anyways, right? So aside from maybe just if you're feeling called to do high ticket one-on-one -on -one sales, then you can hit your income goals. But a lot of the spiritual entrepreneurs I talk to, they have a really healthy income goal, but yet the model in which they're trying to achieve it on paper, when you just put pen to paper with math, it doesn't work. It doesn't fit and it will never add up to equal the lifestyle that they're looking for and the freedom and the flexibility. Just simple math will show you that. And so it's really important that you build your business to scale from the get-go. And so just to recap, systematizing, outsourcing, and then scaling. These three things will allow you to create a freedom-based business on the back end while exponentially helping more people on the front end of your business. 
It is a myth that you have to work with people one-on-one -on -one in order to get transformative results. That is a myth. And there is a way that you need to structure your programs, although, in order to make sure that you do get massive transformation for your clients and students. There is a way to structure it to make sure that that occurs. And um, that is something that I do help spiritual teachers, healers, and light workers and entrepreneurs with. But I wanted to leave you with this formula so you could check in with yourself and ask yourself, is my business scalable? Am I able to help more people? Or every time I help more people, does it take away my freedom? Does it take away my time? Does it take away more energy? Or is it scalable where if I help more people, um, I don't necessarily have to work more. I just get to make a bigger impact and provide value and provide transformation, but ultimately make a bigger impact by helping more people. But my time probably doesn't change that much. So if your answer is no, that's not the case, then this is something that you need to consider right away or you're going to cap all of your potential, your income, your, your energy and everything, and you're gonna eventually reach burnout. Um, especially if you want to grow. So the spiritual teachers, healers, light workers, and coaches that are drawn to me, they're here to make a massive impact. They want to reach as many people as possible. I see their answers on the applications when they book strategy sessions with me, and they all have very similar things in common that say, I want to uplift the masses. I want to help as many people as possible heal their life. I want to help as many people break out of the old conditioning and the old paradigms and, and up-level their life or up-level their mindset or up-level their health but they're here to help as many people as possible. And so this message is specifically for you if you're feeling that call. Now outsourcing, I'm gonna backtrack a little bit. Outsourcing is easier than you think. The reason I shared that story with you about my virtual assistant company is because I've been doing that since before virtual assistant was a thing. I've been outsourcing to a virtual assistant. The reason this is so effective is because you don't have to have the red tape and everything that goes along with actually having an employee. Employees take a salary, they take sick days, you have to pay taxes on um, them and things like that. And there's a lot more red tape when it comes to an employee. And guess what? They want hours whether or not you have work for them. But when you have a virtual assistant, you can piece out, you know, in separate, you know, chunks what you want done and when and there is no hourly requirement every single week to have them they're just there when you need them which guess what means if you don't need them they're not charging you they're not invoicing you and you're not paying them right but if you are using them then they are invoicing you so it scales with you like your um your you know the wages that you're paying in the form of invoicing when they invoice you is going to scale with the amount of work that you have so therefore if you're not really doing too much you're not going to have much of a bill if you are doing a lot then you're going to have a bigger bill but everything scales with you and so that's the beauty of outsourcing and using a virtual assistant and the systematizing is very important because lots of times a virtual assistant will go away something will happen they won't be able to handle the workload or maybe they weren't a perfect fit or something like that and you have to train and hire somebody new you want to have systems in place so that you can easily plug the new person in and that also everything is very transparent as in what you need to what each person needs to do so if there's something in you're doing in your business repeatedly that is not uh, necessarily needing to be done by you then you want to create a system or a step-by-step -step process um, that someone else can follow to get the job done for you so I hope this finds you well like I say everything is about 80% en energetics and 20% strategy but you know I'm spiritual CEO on Instagram for a reason I have like a split right down the middle right brain left brain I'm equal I'm highly intuitive but I'm also have a really strong business mindset which I feel has helped me catapult my business forward because I do think about my business like a business and it has to be able to grow and thrive and that means things have to be in place for that to happen so that you can focus on what is truly, truly what you're being called to offer, which is every, you know, your gift, your coaching, holding sacred space and your teaching and your healings and things like that. So if this is resonating with you, this is stuff that I teach my students inside Sacred Leader Academy, but you can start with my six, you know, Soul Align Success Masterclass to give you a little bit more information about what I do. And you can find that link below this video, wherever you happen to be watching it. And let me know if you have any questions or comments and I will see you for the next episode. Namaste.